Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to cover a series of videos which helps us to uh, become a certified system administrator on ServiceNow. So save this playlist. This to start with, here we have a ServiceNow instance with a banner frame here. The upper black part is called banner frame. And here you can see the app engine studio part. It is content frame. So whatever the tables, list records we open, we can see here. So coming to banner frame, we have different icons here, like all favorites, history, workspace, admin, etc. So here under all, you can find application navigator, the navigation filter here. So in the, under this, we can have all the applications and modules here, which are in the instance, which have access to. So from here, you can navigate to different tables. And here we have favorites here. In this favorites, we can store any uh, any module or application as a favorite here. And we have history here. So whatever work we have done recently will be stored in the history here, as well as we have different icons, which will be covered in our, our upcoming sessions. Here we have application, application picker and update set picker here, as well as we have chat icon, help, help icon, phone, etc. And here we have user profile, the logged in users profile here. So we do, we can, discuss it in our upcoming sessions about this profile or what we can do more on that. So coming to all the navigation filter, we have a pinning option here where you can pin any of the icon here. For example, if you want to pin this application filter here, navigation filter here, we can just click this pin and we can store it as a sidebar here so that we can pick any application or module from here itself. So as you can see, we can pin any other also, history, favorites, whatever. So here I'm pinning all navigation filter here. So this is this all navigation filter contains all type of applications and modules which are available in ServiceNow instance. From here, we can navigate to different type of tables. So I'll show you here the incident acts as an application and these all are modules the create new assigned to me open open and assigned is all etc so once we click on the module the content frame pops up with the list of that particular table here we have opened all records of incident module so here we can see the content frame is popped up with list of records the incident records as you can see, this is a list view. Here we have different icons like configuration menu, the filter to filter multiple records and to search with search bar and actions on selected rows. We have personalization list, etc. So here, as you can see, each of these columns like number, open, short description, caller, priority, all these columns represents fields on that particular record. For example, here we have incident number 31 so when we open this record, each of row represents a record in that particular table. So when we open a particular record, a form will be opened. So this is called a form. Here you can see the form view. Here you can see the number of that particular record. And here we have different type of fields as well as attachments. So each of this is called a field where you can enter some data and saved and some data is populated, defaulted by ServiceNow. So here we have different type of fields here, like number, caller, category, subcategory, service, etc. So each of this is a field and we have different type of fields. We can see the field type by right clicking on the field. And when we click show here, we can file, find the field type here, it is string. So overall, all these fields forms a, creates a form and all forms creates records and records stores in the table in the list view. So here each and every row represents a record here. So all these rows are different records here and we have cells as well here. Each one is a cell. So we can update or update data from cell itself and we can modify data as well as. So for example, if we want to filter any particular records uh, using filter, we can directly click this filter icon and I want now to filter in progress state records. So here we have to select the field, what field we have to filter. So I'm selecting state field here and the value. I want all in progress state records. So under state is under this drop down, we have in progress. We can select in progress. And when we click run, it will run and fetch all in progress records. As you can see here, all the state records are in progress. Okay. And if you want go back, just click on all so that it will show all records and directly you can 
right click on the particular cell and you can show uh, filter that records by just like if you want to filter all inquiry help category based incidents just right click on it you can click show matching so that only the category of inquiry and help will be visible here if you don't want that if you filter out you want to filter out that records you want to filter out inquiry help so show rest all so just right click and you can click filter out so that inquiry help records will be filtered out and rest of records will be visible here and you can apply multiple filters for example you can uh, show match only hardware records so that all hardware records will be visible here so this way you can apply filters as well as you can use filter icon to apply filters here and coming to cell editing if you if you want to change the state of any particular incident for example i want to change state of this particular incident uh, that three one here it is three one i'm changing it from new to in progress so I just click on the cell you can just double click on the cell so that the cell will be edited and here you can change just select the state you want to change it to and click this green icon so that it will change it to in progress you can change category whatever the required fields you have you can change that based on the availability then coming to we have list personalization as you can see we have different type of fields here different type of columns here number open short description caller but under form we have more fields for example when i open this record a form will be opened and you can see we have different type of fields here so if you want to personalize list view with your favorite fields for example i want number caller category subcategory service service offering etc so for that we have a gear icon here to personalize list when we click here personalized list columns pop up here so here you can arrange whatever the fields you want to so here i have number open i don't want open field here so i, I just double click on that or else you can select and remove it for example if you select this and you just click this arrow it will be removed or else you can add it back so this way you can just use double click or that like that and here i don't want on hold reason uh we can remove updated too and we can add some fields if you want for example active and you can move up or down using these arrows and we can add closed by so this way you can add or remove personalized list items here so that you can personalize list as per your view once you click OK, the list will be modified as per your requirement. Here you can see active field is here. So this way you can personalize the list view. Then, <coughs> excuse me, coming to actions of that particular rows. For example, if you select any particular incident, you want to perform any action on this particular record. So you can just select this. And here we have action on selected rows. So here we can find multiple actions here, like for ACH high record delete delete with preview so these all these actions we have which will be learning in upcoming sessions so this way you can select the particular incidents and coming to favorites for example if you want to make any module favorite for example i want incident opened assigned to me to make my favorite okay here i have to list that so instead of going to all and typing incident and searching for assigned to me we can simply make it favorite just here we have a star icon here just click on that so you'll get the name as incidents assigned to me and location top level and just click done done when once you navigate to favorites you can find incidents to me so directly while with clicking that you can directly get the incident which are assigned to you as we are don't have any incidents assigned so we can see anything but this favorites helps us to navigate to the particular as well as we can create incidents on all just like we have created an assigned to me just click star mark and done and here you can see all incidents when we click that it will directly navigate to that particular page so this way you can handle favorites and all and you can create filter based favorites also for example i want all active incidents so i'm filtering active is true and state is so just fine state is in progress so just just run this filter and you can make favorite too 
here you have create favorite just create favorite and you can write the desired name for that favorite and just click done so when you go to incidents here you can find the in progress which when we click that automatically these filters will be applied and the following records will be fetched so this way you can apply filters and store favorites and as i said earlier each column represents here the fields of the record when you open a particular record the form will be open so on the form we have the content on the content frame we have different fields so here as you can see the number here the number so all each and every field represents columns here and each and every row represents represents a, a record in that particular table and each and every cell represents the data of that particular field so this way you can find the forms list and tables in the service you now instance so so this is as the basic introduction in our upcoming sessions we'll discuss more on how to get certified for systems administrator so save this playlist and keep watching thank you